hello everybody so welcome to this third video of this playlist and today what we are going to do is to check out dropout so in programming frameworks or let's say in pytorch you might have something like this touch dot nn dot dropout with the probability p let's see for this example it is 0 0.5 so dropout is a technique that is uh, that is used in deep learning to uh, prevent overfitting and the way it works is that it zeroes element of um, of some activations in some layers with a probability p which is this uh, using samples from a Bernoulli distribution so uh, you might have a network like this a simple network and um, you want to apply dropout at this layer. And if the activations of this layer are something like this, of dimension three by two, uh, they are going to be converted, some of the values should be converted to non-zero, while others zero. And um, depending on this probability, but before we do that, we need to calculate something called scale factor F, which is one, divided by one minus p for this, for this example it is one minus zero one sorry one minus zero uh, point five which is uh, two so if this was one uh, it means that there's a hundred percent chance that any of these values will be made to zero and if this was zero there's a zero percent chance that any of these values will be zero so and this scale factor you know some of the values will be zero so you need to make up for that so um that's why we have a scale factor that is multiplied by the non-zero values but let's see how it is so these activations will be converted to something like this And again, uh, the dimension um, will be will be the same, three by two. And um, let's say this has been selected to the first one has been selected to be non-zero. We're not just going to copy the value, but multiply it by this scale factor. So it's going to become one point four seven five three. Let's say this has been selected to be zero to zero this one also zero this one has been selected to be non zero so it's going to be multiplied by this scale factor it's going to become 3.8919 this one also minus 2.6046 and um, this one has become zero So one more important thing, and yeah, these are the new values of the activations. And um, one important thing is that the dropout is only applied during training, not testing. And um, you, are, you use these values both in forward propagation and backward propagation. In fact, I'm going to put in the link the, link, the paper that uh, first implemented dropouts. Ah uh, yes, thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe.